Hello viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. This is Monisha and here are the top 10 headlines of the day. The death toll in the Manipur carnage increased to 54 officials said even as unofficial sources put the figure at several scores. Life returned to a very normalcy in Imphal Valley on Saturday as shops and markets reopened and cars started plying on the roads. Security presence, which has been bolstered by flying in more army troops and rapid action force and central police forces, was clearly visible at all major areas and roads. After the shocking rape and murder case of Margarita, another heinous incident took place in Assam where a 20-year-old girl was allegedly kidnapped and gang raped on Friday. Victim later filed a complaint where police took immediate action and arrested all the accused involved in the incident. Prominent doctor couple psychiatrist Dr. Sangeeta Datta and her husband Dr. Waliul Islam has been accused of allegedly assaulting their minor child. The matter came to light after a complaint was lodged against the couple following which they were arrested while Dr. Islam along with a caretaker was arrested by the police. Dr. Datta is absconding reportedly. In a tragic incident, two Oil India Limited workers died of electrocution while another received severe burn injuries in Guwahati on Saturday morning. The incident occurred in Narangi when the trio, who were working inside the oil building, came into contact with an exposed powerful electric wire on the ground. Meanwhile, the injured employee was rushed to the Guwahati Medical College Hospital for further treatment. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu on Friday urged the people of Assam and Arunachal residing along the interstate boundary to resolve all issues only through dialogue by taking into confidence all stakeholders. Speaking at a Golden Jubilee Rongali Bihu celebration at Silapathar in Assam's Themaji district as a chief guest, Khandu said the born homie and brotherhood between people of the two states will never cease no matter which way the boundary is finalized. Olympic champion and javelin thrower Neeraj Chopra began his 2023 season on a high note. First in the highly competitive 10 man men's javelin field at the Doha Diamond League on Friday. The javelin star became the world leader with a throw of 88.67 meter. This was Chopra's second win in a Diamond League meeting. A women fashion designer from a village in West Bengal's Hooghly district has designed a dress for British Queen Camilla and a brooch for King Charles III and received a letter from the royal family thanking her and inviting her to attend the coronation ceremony. For the first time in 64 years, Cambodia hosted the Southeast Asian Games expressing confidence that the biennial multi-sport event would give a boost to the tourism industry in the post-COVID-19 pandemic era. The World Health Organization on Friday announced that COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, three years after first raising the apex of concern over the virus. The announcement is an important milestone towards putting a stop to the pandemic. The head of the World Health Organization stated that at least 7 million people lost their lives in the outbreak. Japan's central prefecture of Ishikawa on Saturday remained on high alert for aftershocks and rain after a 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck the area, leaving one dead and 22 others injured. The Japan Meteorological Agency has warned strong aftershocks could occur in the span of around a week. So viewers, that is all for today. For more news and updates, keep watching the Assam Tribune.